Hi, it's Rob Bryant, and welcome back to the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. And uh, today we're doing uh, something that's a little more fun, kind of a science fiction theme uh, in honor of uh, Halloween coming up next week. Jason's come up with this uh, particularly freaky looking look for us. Uh, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll not go in black silhouette for the whole thing, though. Today's entry is called Predicting the Future. Here come the aliens. And if you go to 10thdimension.com slash blog, you'll be able to read along with that. Uh, I do invite you to do so because very often there are links uh, that you can click on when you're reading along. And the entry goes like this. In entries like David J. Brown and Psychedelics and Crossed Wires in the Brain, we've talked about how different some people's perception of reality can be from others. One idea that extends from that that we haven't talked about much is that what some people think of as aliens or UFOs might actually be shadows of patterns from other dimensions or other nearby parallel universes. And last entry, we talked about having 4D glasses and how a 4D perspective would be constantly shifting in our probabilistic universe. This time, we're going to take those two ideas together, aliens and predicting the future. The future is not random, it's probabilistic which means there are only certain things that can happen now based upon what has already happened. If someone makes predictions that come true, did they do so by seeing the possible futures that lay before them? My answer would be, why not? If those possible futures already exist within the underlying timeless structures of our reality, then isn't it possible for a person with a higher dimensional awareness to catch glimpses of those futures? Early this month, I was hearing from people convinced that they would be contacted by benevolent aliens on October 14th. Uh, if you're reading along in the blog, you can click uh, now to see one of the YouTube videos posted about that. We've talked about ideas like this at the 10th Dimension Forum a number of times, and in my book as well. I discussed how there are always a certain number of people making predictions like these throughout history. This fact takes on new significance if we're thinking about the many worlds interpretation. There must be parallel universes, versions of our universe where some of those persons were proved right. Likewise, again, if you're just reading along, you can uh, click on a link right now to watch a video uh, on YouTube that predicts another major terrorist attack on December 13th, 2008. Will it come true? Or will it be like this year's much promoted ideas that the Large Hadron Collider would be causing the end of the world when it came online. We won't know for sure until we get there. We all have moments of intuition where we sense future events coming. In fact, our brains are designed to predict the future. If we weren't able to do so, we would all keep stepping out in front of fast-moving vehicles and dying. A recent issue of Scientific American had an interesting article about optical illusions and how it is that the brain's constant future-predicting function causes many of the more trippy optical illusions to function, you know, the ones that can seem to pulse or spin or vibrate. Of course, predicting what's going to happen one minute from now is not the same as predicting weeks or even centuries ahead, but the basic premise is the same, I believe. It's all part of a continuum. It still comes down to this, though. If there are multiple futures, then someone who predicts the future has to be wrong some of the time, or we're back to there being only one possible timeline for our universe and no free will. So did the aliens show up this month? Not so far as I know. Could they have? If that event is part of the wave function for our universe, then someplace else in the multiverse, that's what happened in October 2008. So if I may be so bold, let me say on behalf of that part of the multiverse, welcome benevolent aliens. Here to close is one of the more popular songs from my project. And this is about the mysteries of the universe and our place within that mystery. The song is called What I Feel For You. I'm Rob Bryanton, and this is the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. Enjoy the journey. Much greater minds than mine have tried to figure out the secrets of the universe and what it's all about. Masters of the abstract, seekers of the spell that fits it all together. I know the quest so well, but it all keeps coming back. No matter what I do, the only thing 
it's real for me is what I feel for you. And what I feel for you is what makes me carry on. My world would be so pointless, my reality so wrong. The secret views and levers that spin behind the scenes to make what's here before us must only do one thing, cause it all keeps coming back No matter what I do The only thing that's real for me Is what I feel for you Much greater minds than mine Have tried to figure out The secrets of the universe And what it's all about Masters of the abstract, seekers of the spell that fits it all together. I know the quest so well, but it all keeps coming back. No matter what I do, the only thing that's real for me is what I feel for you. The only thing that's real for me is what I feel.